Public application of the Alabama Beverage Control Board for a retail beer and table wine license on premise for the sale of beer and wine during events held at the Opera House, Westgate Tenant Center, and Water, Water World Water Park. Over you, please. Uh, basically, uh, this was brought up after you know, the city had some problems and had to basically hurry up to meet some obligations over the next, uh, over the holiday season for events that were currently scheduled. Uh, uh, for the Civic Center, uh, events that are Christmas parties and other things where adult beverages uh, have traditionally been a part of that. Uh, after that, we started talking about that we do have venues at times that are private of nature uh, where people request that. And we thought that, uh, you know, the Westgate Tennis Center sometimes it has the big room up on top of everything where their parties held. Uh, especially when some of the adult leagues come into town, uh, that if the center was closed, it may be appropriate uh, for that to be heard. We also had a, a big, uh, what, 700 plus uh, mixed double state tournament uh, who've been in city five, six, seven, eight years uh, that uh, traditionally had a party at the Civic Center uh, that was getting tired of that and wanted a different venue and also to the point where they were threatening to take that tournament to uh, Foley? Gulf Shores. Gulf Shores, excuse me. Uh, and we did an event at Waterworld. Uh, Waterworld had already closed for the season, uh, but uh, I, I happened to go by there, uh, and I was amazed what a beautiful event and what a beautiful <laughs> venue. Uh, so we thought that uh, these may open up opportunities to further use our facilities, uh, and that's where they're being. Number one, these events would be private in nature. Uh, they would be closed to the general public uh, and uh, every, all the adequate controls. This is not taking away our continued desire to look at options related to the alcohol uh, events. Uh, you know, we had a contract with Quality Inn because of a takeover and uh, a person left uh, uh, the area who owned that permit. We couldn't get it signed over to us. So we had to get our own to meet our obligations in the Civic Center. And it's still my desire after we get through uh, the holiday season and we meet our obligations there to again uh, look for someone else, an outside vendor, to handle that. Uh, we have already begun discussions. I've been trying to build interest. In the past when we did, Quality Inn was the only bidder. I think by word of mouth and talking to restaurants as well as hotels, we could change that. But this is on your, on your agenda for consideration for those purposes. Uh, may I we, 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 now, with that overview, we don't have a motion on the table. So we either need to make a motion and a second to discuss it or not. Because it's either an issue or it's not. So I would entertain a motion. Not hearing a motion dies for lack of a motion. There was one privilege of the floor, which will now come at the end of the meeting since this, since there's no discussion here. Item number two. Hey, commissioners, I appreciate the opportunity to share, and uh, I was going to speak in opposition, but I want to thank you for allowing that, uh, that agenda item to die for lack of support. Um, I found that when you try to rush things through that uh, you cause more conflict than, uh, than maybe you can handle as uh, your equals in the county have uh, been working on the last few months. Um, I believe these are city facilities and uh, taxpayer dollars go, all taxpayer dollars go to help maintain and build these facilities and I think that all uh, taxpayers should be, uh, you know, they should be informed on these decisions but also they should be considered their, their moral standards and things and so uh, I appreciate you uh, letting this die, but I want to speak in opposition because this may be a future uh, incident as well. I know that it's been stated that these are private parties and that private, uh, they would be, um, uh, private parties would book these facilities. But just like Waterworld, when you book a private uh, party there, you still have to employ the youth for lifeguards and things like that. And so I don't think that we want to uh, uh, let our youth be subjected to uh, to the intoxication. That's not the case. It's not the case at all. If they use, uh, it's not even the pool's not even used. They weren't okay. And, and that's that's uh, I stand to be corrected on that. 
But again, it goes back to uh, tax payers' dollars. And I understand that uh, in July of 2008 that there was a private party there without alcohol being used. I think some was brought in, but uh, the police were called for unruly conduct at that facility in 2008 to Waterworld. I just don't think that subjecting uh, uh, our young people or subjecting the employees that have to be there, I don't think it's uh, appropriate to uh, subject them to the uh, use of alcohol. And then is the city and, and commission ready to receive the liabilities that come with, uh, and if you will you receive any for the DUIs that leave those uh, facilities when they, they come about. I just want to go on record as, uh, uh, as stating opposition for, uh, for the city and a few being able to, um, to, to um, bring these agenda items up and pass them to uh, when the whole city is the one involved with, with these facilities and the maintenance of these facilities. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Butler. Thank you all for coming. We stand adjourned.